design inference as a methodology, it's, it's part and parcel of, of the intelligent design movement. When the design inference first edition came out, it was regarded as a uh, big deal within the intelligent design movement because it promised to put on a solid scientific basis uh, our ways of detecting and inferring design. So that was important because if intelligent design is going to be a scientific movement, design cannot simply be a vague intuition. There has to be a way of cashing it out in a rigorous way. So that's uh, the design movement from the time that the design inference came out, took it as a method for reliably inferring design and took it as something that really strengthened the hand of all the other researchers that were uh, going to be using this method, whether explicitly or implicitly. So that's, you know, that, that was the, the promise. I think it's fulfilled that promise. Uh, I think in standing against the critics of intelligent design though, uh, the first edition, there was room for improvement. I mean, there were ideas that needed to be clarified. The notion of specified complexity as a unified information measure, that really needed to be nailed down. I think that has now with the uh, second edition of the design inference. So I, th I think it's, it's, it's mutual. The second edition of design inference now continues to strengthen the hand of the intelligent design movement and the intelligent design movement by using these ideas and showing that they can be effectively used in the natural sciences shows the, the power and, and extent of, of these, these ideas and the, the method of design detection. So it's, uh, they're, they're mutually reinforcing. I mean, it's really design inference as a methodology. It's, it's part and parcel of, of the intelligent design movement. Mm -hmm.